Thanks, Carlene. Mm -hmm. East County History is awaiting visitors this coming weekend in Campo. Four museums are offering free admission on Saturday and Sunday. CBSA's David Godforson has a preview of events at the annual Campo Days Festival. This is a step back in time. Uh, you come here, you're going to have some real fun. Brian Elmore admits he has a thing for old trucks. This uh, 47 Dodge was originally purchased in Brawley, California. Which is why he volunteers as president of the Motor Transport Museum in Campo. The Motor Transport Museum is in the old Felspar Mill. You can't miss it. It kind of sticks up into the air. It's the highest thing that we got here in Campo. We have about 300 trucks here, and we have about another 200 miscellaneous items that are connected with the motor transport industry. The Truck Museum is one of four nonprofits that are offering free admission all day Saturday and Sunday for Campo Days. We have live music from 1 to 10. We have uh, the whole shebang. Country music and dancing are set for Saturday night at the Camp Locket Event and Equestrian Center, along with food and drink and, of course, horses. Free event for the entire family. We'll have a couple kids bounce houses. We have goat roping. The kids can try to rope something without having a horse. Barrel racing, horse obstacle course, mutton busting. We're celebrating the uh, ranching heritage of East County along with the, uh, the history of the Buffalo Soldiers that were here in Campo during World War II. There was up to about 5,000 horses here at one time and maybe about 3,000 men. Larry Johnson is the president of the Mountain Empire Historical Society which runs the Gaskill Stone Museum, the site of a deadly gun battle in 1875 with border bandits. Down on the train tracks is the Pacific Southwest Railway Museum with free admission and train rides for a nominal fee. Kids of all ages love those old trains. Anything that's old, I just am attracted to it. So once again, Campo Days this weekend, all day Saturday and all day Sunday. Bring the whole family and the weather is looking pretty, pretty good. In Campo, David Goffertson, CBS 8. I don't know. You, I think there's a chance you might run into David out there as well. <laughs> so Campo is about an hour drive from downtown San Diego. It's a lot of fun. If you want more information on Campo Days, we posted a link at CBS 8.com.